Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Evan Forrester. Today marks one year since the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Community members in Lackhurst have spent the afternoon asking lawmakers in Washington, D.C. for change. They're urging the passage of the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. Fox 43's Grace Griffithson joining us now in Lancaster with more on what the act would change and the message from community leaders. Good evening, Evan. We're outside the police station, which became a hub for protests in the days and weeks following Floyd's death. Artwork installed here shows his photo as well as other African Americans who died during police involved incidents. The murder of George Floyd was a moment that created the movement. Inside Crispus Attucks in Lancaster, Pastor Roland Forbes Jr. with Ebenezer Baptist Church and others are trying to progress that movement. We've dealt with moments um, perpetually, um, you know, from the time of Emmett Till. Things that we see every day almost now of people being killed for this reason, people being murdered for this reason. They're using their voices. We will be doing some calls to our senators, uh, urging them to pass the George Floyd Act. And they're urging their neighbors to do the same. Really express to them the importance of this bill. Lancaster already banned police chokeholds, mandated yearly crisis intervention training for officers, and made it a requirement that city council be aware of police disciplinary actions. But they say it's not enough. So when we look at how the modern police model is carried out today, it's very much um, in the tradition of slave catching and very much in the tradition of uh, Jim Crow. We have to stop holding people's lives at such a minimal value. If Congress passes and President Biden signs the George Floyd and Policing Act, it would create a registry of complaints and records of police misconduct, establish a framework to prevent and remedy racial profiling by law enforcement at the federal, state, and local level, and restrict the use of no-knock warrants, chokeholds, and sleeper holds. We need to start paper trails, and we need to make sure that we're clogging these systems with so much paperwork and labor that there is no choice but to pass the appropriate legislation. Now in just one hour, nearby community members will gather in Penn Square at six for what they say will be a peaceful vigil in George Floyd's name. They say they will be recommitting themselves to a vision of racial justice. In Lancaster, Grace Greffiton, Fox 43 News.